What's up everyone, Doyle here and it's time for another episode of Doing Stuff for Science in Abyss Seal Land. So if you watched any of the previous videos, you know I'm up to Seal Land 18, but now we can make a few improvements. The goal is no enabled heroes, so we can definitely get plenty more 10 star heroes. Saving this VIP chest, don't want to use that one quite yet. But this chest right here, not a Rogan or a Sherlock, a Delasium. I guess I could have done both right away. So, why? Because I'm insane and you should do as I say, not as I do. We will also grab one nine star puppet and one six star puppet. Because we are going to ten star a third Delosium. Kafuga doesn't help us much. Can we get some caroms from here? Mm, no one that helped us there, but let's summon these puppets. And let's ten star the third Delosium. See where we're at with that. So, Lossium number three, you will get a little stronger, and now you can be regressed when I'm done with all of this nonsense. Boom, there's another Delosium. Better active, higher damage, higher base hit points, which is nice. So even at 101, he should be even more survivable. Unfortunately, we can't make another Karam yet, and we definitely can't 10-star Karam. Um, we're holding on to these chests, holding on to that one. So that should be it for my selection chests for now. But with that said, let's jump right in and see how we're looking. So let me update my notes for the new 10 star Delosium. So we're gonna run, we're gonna try with, so if you watched the stream, I tried deer for a bit. We'll try deer again now that all Delosiums are 10 star. Um, this one, we won't have a stone. But we will keep crown on him. So we'll try it with deer again. See if it keeps these guys alive. We're definitely looking at more damage now that we have a third 10-star Delosium, though. So let's jump in. See if we can maybe clear 18 with this setup. So four 10-stars, a 6-star, and a 7-star. Need the attack reduce on the boss. Need the stuns. Looking good so far. Got some decent damage out. If we can kill these two minions pretty quickly with those Delosium actives. We still have two Delosiums, which is good. Uh, not quite. Um, Phoenix? I'm still not sure Phoenix or Deer is better. The, the heal to keep them alive in between rounds is nice. But we lose so much damage running that Deer. We only got three stuns, and they got a lot of stuns, yeah. Not quite what we need. We need all three Delosiums to really not get stunned. I'd be great to run like stuff like candy cane on them. Ooh, if we did not attack reduce the boss with Karam's active. No bueno. I wish we had some copies of Karam somewhere. So Karam did hit the boss. Although our our curse hasn't given off a stun yet. So this is weird. We made it to round two without stunning at all. We've got a few attack reductions on the boss, but not enough, I'm guessing. Maybe. This is actually looking really good. If we can keep that boss reduced. Minus ones. Come on. Live and reduce. Live and reduce, guys. Keep the minus ones. Ah, oh, the Delosiums are getting stunned. We need them to live. Come on. Active. That's two left. Two minions left. Come on. It's just the boss. We've got to heal. Keep him reduced. Keep that number up. Come on. Serratus active. Oh, it's so close. He has so many hit points. Seal land 18 with no enabled heroes. We have caught you, Zara. I'm coming for you on 19. Look at this. Whew. This level makes my heart race. I think Phoenix is better than Deer for us since if they can survive with Phoenix, they're going to do more damage. The healing will be fine. Oh my goodness. 181 million, 181 million, 117 million. We are moving on to Seal Land 19. And we still don't have the 10-star Karam, which was my original theory craft. Whew! Six more attempts. We're going to try 19. We may buy some attempts for gems. I don't know if 20 is going to be doable without having these guys be 10-star. We hit the boss, though. That's good. Oh, my God. That active, though. We may have to go back to deer. If that active does that to us with one Karam debuff on him... Uh-oh. You have to pay more attention. Holy cow, that hits so hard. 
19's real hard. Let's try deer again. We're gonna watch this in 1x, because this level of science requires a lot of paying attention. All right, so Karim hits him. The problem is the Delosium end of round replication doesn't occur until the second round. Oof, we really need like, ideally, hopefully I get further before I release this video. These two would both be 10 star Karams. I think that's the optimal setup for this. Two 10 star Karams, one Cruise, you go all in, hope he stuns everyone, and three Delosiums. I think we might need to run this gear though, which is, I mean, we have to last so many rounds against this boss. You saw what 18 looked like. All right, we got the stun, but we're down to... Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. I may not buy any attempts at all. This is rough. Um, we'll run Phoenix in 1x speed. See if we can survive at all with some RNG. So the only Delosium that survived was the second one, which is running HP, HP, and Crown. So maybe we swap the Antler's Cane and the Crowns on the Delosium. Keep the level 250s, both have the Crown. And just let this guy run aggressive, hope he survives anyway. Maybe. I don't know if Antler's Cane even matters for him. Maybe we just run him uh, Fearless in general. Is that an extra King of Demons I saw? No. Destruction Box and Demon Whisper. Let's try this. With... We're gonna buy some attempts for you guys. We got, we got 18 in this video. We can't just go out on that note. Problem is, I don't know if we can live at all, even with Karam putting one. We need two Karams really to double stack on his boss. Although, that worked and he didn't have any debuffs on him yet, so maybe this is the better play? So we hit him with another one. Oh my god, that boss, we gotta get him down fast. All right, so I think this can work. That worked out better than the last times. We'll do 10 more attempts. Probably speed through some of this video if we don't clear 19. So maybe we need the, so unlike the other ones, I know, uh, the strategy keeps switching. We need the boss to not active round one now. I think we need him to basic the cruise so that everyone gets stunned. And then we debuff him before he can active. Fortunately, it's really hard to make him not active because we have so many AoEs. We need the Delosiums to not hit him. Uh, we need the Karam to not hit him. We need the cruise to not hit him. Because, see, I mean, we hit him with one too many even. We need two less attacks to hit that boss. So the RNG, I mean, it's CLN 19. The RNG is getting harder and harder. Okay. Yeah. So we need that to happen. Only we need the cruise to get one shot. Or one tap to 50%. Okay. So I think Phoenix is fine. And we need no active on the boss round one. Definitely RNG heavy. All right, perfect. This is what we want to see. We got no, we got to get these debuffs on the boss right now. Ah, uh, we got none replicated to him. So that's how we want it to go. All right. So no active from boss round run. Replicate all of the debuffs to him by round two. Hope we survive his round two active. Because we cannot survive a round one active anymore. At all. We have no shot at it. So we can skip. Now we know when we can skip. We, we guaranteed CLN 19, we cannot survive a round one boss active. So we're gonna do 10 more with that knowledge since we can speed it up a little bit. And then I will come back to the drawing board, hopefully with more Karams if we don't get this one. Okay, good. Uh, we need that to last him to live, but this is better. So we got some debuffs on him, not enough. 18 though, we're at two levels away. I think it's doable. Nope. I don't want to regress this third Delasio until I clear 20. I just don't know if I have the the patience and the gems, as well as the caroms, to really do it. Also, Karam increases our RNG of getting a boss to round one active since he does hit that back line. Oh, we didn't stun enough, but we all have three Delosiums. 
That boss does not have enough debuffs on him. Yeah, 6 million active. We're not surviving that at 10 stars. Um, and these two both have HP, HP stones, so it's not like the, uh... It's not like there's a huge difference between these two Delosiums. I mean, these guys are... Oh! Let's go back to HP, HP stones. See if we can survive his active. If not, there's no reason not to go attack, attack. Uh, I'm guessing HP, HP stones still won't save us, since he's doing so much damage at this point. But it is worth a look seeing. Alright, so we won't have a round one boss active. We got four stuns. We've got one debuff on the boss so far. Hopefully underground replication increases that number. Yeah, we don't survive that active, so... I think we say attack, attack to try and increase the damage we do, since if you saw the 18, we, we need to kill. So I think we run attack, attack. Five more attempts. We'll run them in 2x. We'll watch them. Uh, getting a little long in the video, but we did manage to clear Steel Land 18. Alright, we won't have a boss active. We got the stun. Two Glossiums are stunned, unfortunately, but we got... S so two debuffs is not enough on that boss. I think we need, like, four on him by round two. Which... Is that possible? So we get one from Karam. We need one to get on him from Karam. One from Karam. And then we replicate... The other three. So one from Illyria's. One from Karam's. Can we get four on him? Is my math wrong? Karam round one. I don't know if we can replicate from him to him, because that's one. I don't know if we can reduce him enough with this setup. Because we have a one on Illyria. We really need two targets debuff. There's one from Illyria, two from Karam. That means he can only have three on him by round two. We may need a second Karam, which we don't have yet. Which also, again, increases the RNG needed to not get that active. All right, going to go back to the lab and the drawing board, but we got Seal Land 18, which is super exciting. That's going to be it for this video, though. Be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you like the content, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.